you're new here, please subscribe. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. I have two lanes to keep left onto Maryland, Route 124 toward Maryland, Route 117. I have the boys in the back. My mom's driving. We're heading to an Invisalign appointment for me. I'm gonna go see an Invisalign keep specialist left. because you guys know all of the issues that I've had so far with my dentist doing Invisalign. Um, she's not an orthodontist or a specialist or anything like that, and I just don't really feel comfortable because my attachments have kept falling off over and over again. Yeah, honey. The back of the seat, probably because the sun is, is on that. It's okay, we're getting out soon. So anyway, we're on our way there. I'm gonna meet with him, um, see what he says about like what he thinks. I don't really know where we're gonna go from there, but I just wanna get a second opinion, which a lot of you guys have told me to get because these are my teeth, so it's not something that I wanna like fool around with. And then from there, I'm not sure what we're gonna do. I do need to, we might go get Camden's haircut because he's due for a haircut really badly. And then we might stop at the mall. Um, I need to get the boys some, I need to get the boys some new spring clothes, especially Camden. I just realized today that he literally has, I just realized today that he literally has grown out of pretty much all his clothes, which is fine because winter is coming to an end and they're all winter clothes, but he's definitely, um, in need of some new spring stuff. So we'll see where we end up. I saw the city passing by my window. Was in the crowd, but I felt so alone. Looked at my phone like every other second. My future was blurry and numb. A tunnel where there's no light Oh, but then you came and sat right next to me Your eyes, they glowed and filled me up We had never met before that time But I just knew that we'd end up You took it, you, you took it Took away my loneliness, so oh, I know it, I, I know it You're making me wholehearted Together, two together Together it's always better I don't want to be parted You're making me wholehearted You're making me, you're making me Right now I'm on my way to pick up some food for my mom and I because we, we haven't eaten all day long we've been just like going 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 and it's been so crazy with the two kids Quentin like just had a complete meltdown in the car when we were driving home from the dentist and I had to like get in the back with him and like try and calm him down but like there was literally nothing I could do to get him to calm down besides put on blues clues on my phone and that's the only thing that made him stop crying um, and I couldn't figure out why he was crying. It was just like, yeah, I think he was just overtired at that point. It, he was due for a nap and just like wouldn't sleep. And I usually don't take Quentin out like that often for errands just because like he's on such a strict schedule right now with like his naps and I just, I don't know. I just don't take him out running errands that often where he skips a nap. He usually gets his naps and his two naps during the day. So he was due for his nap and he just I lost it screaming and crying and I don't know about you but when my kid is crying I literally can't concentrate on anything else I can't think about anything else I can't do anything else um and so my mind was like all over the place <laughs> but anyway all of that's besides the point Quentin is home now he's asleep napping Cam is getting ready to take his nap even though it's super late in the day y'all it is like past four already so it's so late for their naps but like whatever I did want to just clear something up from my last vlog because the comments on my last vlog were like a little I don't know a little out there like people were commenting um like why my husband doesn't help and that it always seems like I'm a single mom and I don't disagree with y'all like if I was on the other side of things like watching a youtuber like me who never filmed her husband and he wasn't ever in the vlogs and i i never talked about him helping or him doing anything or anything like that like honestly i'd probably think the same thing and i probably would be like huh that guy is like not involved whatsoever and this girl really does seem like a single mom 
So I totally understand like why y'all um, think that. But I've explained this so many times. So if you are new here, you probably don't know this. So that's why I'm kind of just gonna talk about it real quick um, with any of my new subscribers. Um, and also to like reiterate it to anyone who's been watching for a while who maybe forgot, but my husband does work at home. So we both work from home. He works a ton. That's actually one of the qualities that I really loved about Alex when I first met him is what a hard driven, motivated, determined person he is that just like, I don't know, I love that about him. So that's not something that I like frown upon, I guess. Is that even a saying? I don't know. I might've just made that up, but he works a lot. Okay. And he does it for his family, you know? So we live in a very, very expensive area and that's one of the reasons why I've wanted to move for so long. Um, just because everything is so ridiculously overpriced around here. I mean, the real estate, like if you guys even look up Bethesda, Maryland and just like go on like Zillow and just look at the the prices of the houses and see what you get for, you know, freaking 800, 900, a million dollars. See what you get. And it's just, it's, it's absolutely crazy, but that's just where we live. We've grown up here. This is what we're used to. And anyway, so he works his butt off, works so hard, um, to make a good living and to, you know, provide for his family. I am a stay at home mom. My job is to watch both of the kids. And then I also do YouTube and like Instagram and stuff as well. And that's what I decided to do. Like I didn't want to go to an office. I wanted to be able to work from home and watch my kids as well. And I'm always asked like why Alex doesn't help out, but you guys only see about 15 minutes of my entire day. And Alex doesn't like to be shown on camera. He's not into it. You guys know this. He doesn't like to be filmed and I don't film him. You know, sometimes I'll sneak him in there here and there, but like I really don't film him because he doesn't like it. Um, and so therefore, how could you possibly see him helping? You know what I mean? Like how could you possibly see him if he doesn't like to be filmed and if you only see 15 minutes of my entire day, how are you ever going to see him helping out? He does a ton, you guys. He does a ton. And when I come on here and I vent to you guys and I complain and I just am like, oh, what was me? Mom life is so hard. Like, honestly, like, I love my life. I cherish it. I am so thankful and grateful for my life and what I do and being able to stay at home with my kids. And I love it. But this is YouTube and this is real life. And I share my ups. I share my downs. I share my joys and struggles and everything with you guys. That is the point of me being a lifestyle mommy vlogger. So when I'm having a hard day, which we all have, I'm going to get on here. I'm going to get on the camera and I'm going to vent to you guys. You guys are my friends. I like to tell you how it is. I like to tell you how I'm feeling, what I'm going through that day. I may be having just like meh, a crummy day. The next day may be amazing and I'm going to vlog that as well. So it's not like I'm always getting on here complaining or anything like that. But when I do have hard days, I like to share it because a lot of the people who watch my vlogs are moms and you guys can totally relate to just having one of those days. And sometimes when you see someone else having a hard day, you can kind of, I don't know, it doesn't make you feel better to see someone else having a hard day, but just the fact that you're not alone and that everyone has those difficult days and like, oh, my kid had a meltdown too and it was so hard and oh my gosh, like it's, you know, stressful. I have all this stuff to do and I can't get it done. And that's just, it's just me venting you guys. Like that's, that's all it is. So when people come on here and they're like, oh my God, like she's a single mom. Her husband's never around. He doesn't help. Like you guys don't see the majority of my life. I try to share what I can, but, um, he helps you guys. He helped a ton and I'm very grateful for Alex. And that's pretty much all I want to say. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and run in to flower child, which is one of my favorite restaurants ever. If you guys have a flower child near you, you have to go there, get the mother earth bowl with salmon. You will not regret it. It is so, so, so good. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up lunch, um, or like early dinner really. And then I will update you guys on Invisalign as you can see, or maybe you can't, I don't have my trays in right now. So. So this is the mother earth bowl that I was telling you all about. There is salmon, sweet potato, a like pesto, a pesto something, I don't really know what it is. And then there's like quinoa, avocado, arugula, um, some kind of like red pepper something. I don't know. It is so, so good. What are you doing, little man? 
<laughs> what you doing? Eating some yogurt melts? Those are yummy, huh? Really yummy, huh? So I got a few packages in and I wanted to share what I got because I ordered a few things for um, Camden on Nordstrom.com the other day. I just, I saw this stuff and I couldn't resist. I love myself a little skater boy. And you guys know I love vans. And so I got Quint, or not Quentin. So I got Camden and I some matching vans that are super cute. And then I got Camden a couple more things from vans. Um, but these are the sneakers I got him. He needed a new pair of sneakers. I was gonna get the ones with the white laces, which is what I got myself over here. But I figure, oh, it's so much easier when you can Velcro strap them. So I got him these, and I think I got size 10, which should fit him, hopefully. I'll have to try them on, but they are so cute. And then I got myself the same pair, but like the adult version, and these are actually platform, which I thought were adorable, especially if you wear like cute little jean shorts and a t-shirt this summer, um, or even like with leggings. These are gonna be so cute so obviously these don't have the velcro straps because i'm a big girl i can tie my shoes and i just love that they're platform so yeah cam and i are going to be matching which is always adorable to match with your little ones um and then quentin actually i have camden's old like checkered bands that i'm going to give to quentin he has like two or three pairs of checkered bands from when he was younger so i'll give those to quentin um i mean i technically could get quentin like a baby matching pair but i feel like i'm not going to get him any shoes until he starts walking because i feel like they're just such a waste until they walk so maybe when he walks i will get him a little matching pair as well i got camden this cute little vans hat so i think it is like boys like kid size not really like a toddler um even though cam's like almost four so i mean this will probably fit fine because it has the adjustable thing right here so yeah i thought that was really cute and then to go with his little sneakers, I got the Vans socks, which are always so cute with the sneakers. The, like, long socks. They also came in white, but they were sold out in his size in the white. So I got him black. And then, oh, my God, you guys, I saw these shorts. And this is kind of why I went, like, a little crazy with Vans is I saw that they had these checkered shorts for boys. And, oh, my gosh, I almost died. I was like, I have to get these for him for this summer. And then I saw the hat. And then, you know, you know how it goes. Um, this cute little shirt to go with it definitely like a California skater vibe going on here um, so like yeah these colors are so pretty with the palm trees and then I wanted to show you these adorable tie-dye PJs that I got on Amazon and I got them for both the boys they come in so many different sizes and so many different colors actually they have like purple and pink and blue I mean like so many different colors so I got like this really cute like sage green I think it is and they're really really nice quality guys and they're Amazon so they're definitely affordable I kind of want to go back and order like another color um, and then I got Quentin the matching ones um, I got Quentin an extra small which is 18 to 24 months but I think they're gonna shrink so they'll probably fit him like this summer and then I got Cam the four to five T so I was just showing Alex all the things that I got for Camden <laughs> and I realized that these actually aren't shorts it's a swimsuit which I mean, I think it's really cute as a swimsuit too, but I'm kind of bummed because I thought they were just like shorts for summer, but they have like one of those little mesh nets inside. So it's definitely a swimsuit. Also, I had Camden try it on and I got him a 3T even though he is about to be four, but he has like a really tiny waist and usually pants fall off of him. So I sized down in the 3T, but these actually are way too small. So I'm gonna go exchange them at Nordstrom and probably get a 4T. And I'll probably just keep them for summer just because they are really cute, even if it is a swimsuit. But I wanted to show you guys what I got Camden for Quentin's first birthday. So I've been talking about this on my stories on Instagram. Um, but I know what I'm gonna do for Quentin's first birthday theme in May, and it's gonna be a Jimmy Buffett themed party which I'm so so excited about we're gonna have cheeseburgers for like cheeseburger in paradise I think there's gonna be like a margarita stand I really want to rent a real parrot you guys but I think it's like way too expensive Quentin reminds me a lot of my dad as I've told y'all before he looks so much like my dad and my dad was the biggest Jimmy Buffett fan so I just thought it would be really really cute to have Quentin's first birthday as Jimmy Buffett plus I mean I know that like Jimmy Buffett is probably more of like for older people <laughs> 
but Quentin's never gonna know. He's a baby, so I really feel like the first birthdays are more for the parents anyway, if you know what I mean. I'm getting um, everyone like Hawaiian shirts, so this is Camden's whole outfit. His came with shorts, which I think, think is so cute. I'll try and vlog Quentin's shirt tomorrow morning before I edit this video, but he's asleep right now, so I can't go into his room, but it's so cute. And then I also got Alex a Hawaiian shirt that's like perfect for Jimmy Buffett, but it hasn't come in yet, so I'm waiting for that to come in. They're all from Amazon, so super affordable. Um, so if you have any kind of like tropical themed party to go to, definitely check out Amazon. They have like the cutest Hawaiian shirts. These are so cute. I'll hang out with you all day, every day, okay? Okay. He actually stood up for the first time earlier today. Um, he stood up on the Huggies box. Come back here, honey. Oh my goodness, what are you doing to the rock? <laughs> what are you, you're just getting into everything. <laughs> Say hello. Hello, hello, hello. So I ended up going in for a consultation yesterday with another dentist who specializes in Invisalign. And you guys, this dentist knows what he's talking about. He honestly made me feel so much more like confident in the whole process. I like have some notes written down too because I wanted to like go over this with you guys and kind of update you. So we have a new plan. Pretty much what he told me was that he thinks that we should just completely like start the Invisalign process over, get new trays made, um, and so put new attachments on my teeth and just like do the whole thing over. And I completely agreed with him. And so pretty much he's gonna take over my Invisalign case. So I had mentioned on Instagram yesterday that I am throwing out my Invisalign trays. Um, and I had a few texts being like, oh my gosh, I can't believe like you're just gonna throw them away and all this stuff and So Invisalign actually is pretty cool because you can like transfer your case So if you have started Invisalign and you're just like not happy with like your dentist or whoever is doing it or um, Whatever you can just oh, gosh. You can actually just have your like Invisalign case like transferred over to, to someone else, which is super cool. So he is going to take it over, so I'm not losing that money or anything like that. But I don't need those trays because I'm going to start over from the beginning, which is kind of crazy because I've already worn the trays for what, like, I want to say like almost four weeks now. <sighs> so that kind of sucks, but like, I don't even care at this point. I just really, really am excited for this to actually work and be done like the right way and like for me to actually be comfortable with everything and we have a whole plan and i just feel really good about it and really confident about it so i'm really excited um go ahead and read your dinosaur book sticky moloch. Oh, sticky moloch so yeah the attachments were not placed in the ideal places so what he's gonna do is remove them and then he's gonna scan my teeth with a digital iTero scanner, whatever that is, I don't really know, but it's like a scan, it's a digital scanner that's gonna pretty much take pictures of my teeth. Um, when I went to my dentist to get this done before, they didn't scan my teeth. What they did was put like this goo in my mouth and then I chomped down and they made molds of my teeth. So Dr. Analek, who is the dentist that I saw yesterday that I'm going to now, um, is not gonna be doing the molds. He actually does the digital images of my teeth. Um, so I'm gonna get the attachments taken off, get the digital images done for my teeth, get those sent into Invisalign, have new trays made, go back in to see him. He's gonna put new attachments on my teeth that will not be falling off. Pretty sure they're not gonna fall off, I hope. And I'm gonna start fresh with new trays. Um, and I believe he told me that he wants me to like start off wearing them two weeks at a time, which my old plan was like every two weeks I would switch them. This plan is gonna be like, I think I'm gonna start two weeks at a time for the first like month or so, maybe one to two months. And then after that, he's gonna switch me over to changing them out every seven days. So that is the new plan, you guys. I am really, really stoked. I'm really, really excited to get this whole new Invisalign plan in action. And um, if you have any questions, leave them down below for me because I don't know if I've answered everything. If you guys are in like the DC, Maryland, Virginia area and you guys are thinking about getting Invisalign, I, I'm i recommending Dr. Analik just because he was so good. I actually am really excited for this now. Say please subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>
was in the crowd, but I felt so alone. 